Hey everyone, what's going on? And thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Justin, and today I'm gonna consider this the halfway point video um, as a check-in for the first round of the Toronto Maple Leaf series, as today we are coming off of a big loss. Last night, seven to three against the Tampa Bay Lightning in game four, which brings the series to two apiece. You need four wins in the first round, or all the rounds to get through to the next one, and both teams are at two, so we'll consider this the 50% mark. Now I am I'm ashamed to say this, but last night, yes, I did miss the game. I had my first hockey game of my summer league, so I uh, had to make it to that. Um, I think I only missed one regular season game all year, which was the last game of the year because I was on vacation at Disney. Uh, and so I hate missing games, but I did miss last night. But from everything I've gathered, I've watched the highlights, I've watched the post-game interviews, I've talked to people about it, I've read the comments. Just a disaster, right? 7-3, um, but that is really a closer score somehow than the result of the game actually was. They were down 5 nothing at one point in the game. Um, early on, down 3 nothing in the game when the Leafs didn't even have three shots on net. Uh, apparently, we left Jack Campbell just completely out to dry. Justin Hall, um, again, is getting absolutely obliterated online, berated in the comments because a few turnovers, a few bad plays. But realistically, it was the entire team, right? Nobody came out to play. Um, we, uh, like I said, Jack, Jack Campbell was left out to dry. Shalgren comes in and actually doesn't let in a goal. But in my eyes, I mean, it's a good thing we got Jack some rest. Hopefully, he's ready for the next game. But here's the thing. I mean... This is the Stanley Cup playoffs, and the only objective every single game is to come out with a win, right? So whether you lose 7-3 or 1-0 or it doesn't matter what the score is, a loss is a loss. And that could be a bad thing, obviously, because you need to win every game in the playoffs in order to have any sort of success. But it's a good thing in the sense that, guys, like, we don't need to overreact over this. We really, really don't. Obviously, a terrible performance. Obviously, need to get a better effort. And obviously, in losses, you'd rather have, you know, a 2-1 loss where the team looks excellent, you know, uh, just gets beat, has a plethora of chances. But... The series is tied 2-2, and coming into the series, how many people thought that this game or this series was going to six or seven games? I think pretty much everybody, everybody, whether you're a Tampa fan or a Toronto fan, you thought that this game was going down the stretch, and now it's confirmed. We're guaranteed to have a minimum of six games in this series. So we are right on track as far as what everybody anticipated. And in fact, a lot of people, obviously recency bias is a legitimate thing, but people are forgetting that the Toronto Maple Leafs shut out the Tampa Bay Lightning 5 nothing in game one. They're forgetting that they went into Tampa Bay uh, when Tampa is supposed to have home ice advantage and comes out and beats them a very good game in game three. But everybody's focused on, you know, oh my God, what a terrible performance. We lose 7-3. The series is over. The series is not over. It's a best of three series now. First team to get two wins moves on. It's as simple as that. And yes, I think that the Toronto Maple Leafs are still very capable of getting that done. Now, I've got concerns, as everybody does. Um, I'm not saying the expectation that they're going to win the series. Uh, I think that would be uh, a foolish thing to do at this point. I mean, it is the Stanley Cup back-to-back -back defending champions that we're against. Winning two out of three is going to be very difficult, but winning the two games that we've won so far, that was difficult in itself, and we got it done. So am I concerned? No. I, I mean, like I said, I have all this time been anticipating a seven-game series, and being tied 2-2, no matter how it happened, whether the Leafs would have gone two up uh, in the first two games and, you know, Tampa won their two home games or the splits that we've had or being down 2 nothing and coming back to make it 2-2, doesn't matter how we got here. We're here, and everybody expected to be here. And if the Leafs went up 3-1, I would have been hopeful that they could have got it done in five games or six games. Now it's looking like six or seven. Um, the Leafs can get it done, and there's no reason to be freaking out. Now, do want some roster adjustments. Uh, Justin Hall, don't know if I can justify him staying in the lineup for the next game. Um... Second line needs to pick it up. And if you're going to take it any sort of positive from last night's game, it's that William Nylander was able to put up two goals, his first two goals of the series. John Tavares still waiting for that mark, but getting Willie going 
and having him on the line with John Tavares, that will bring huge, huge boosts to the team throughout the rest of this series if they can get it going. Matthews and Marner have been a little quiet recently. They're going to get going again. Uh, what we need to focus on, though, is defense and penalties. Um, now, I heard that the Leafs gave up, what was it, eight power plays, only got something like two or three in return. I didn't see all of them. I don't know if they were deserved. I don't know if they were ridiculous calls. I'm going to go into the assumption that they were deserved because everybody's talking about this this Leafs team needing to be a little bit more disciplined. Uh, so obviously need to work on that. But defensively, guys, you got to help out Jack Campbell. Jack Campbell has shown time and time again that he can be one of the best goalies in this league if he's on his game. And that was president as, as ever in game three. He stole the show for the Toronto Maple Leafs in the third period when they came in with the lead. Tampa just took it to the Leafs and Jack Campbell stood his ground. You got to give him some support in front of him. You got to pick it up defensively. And I would fully expect that we're going to see that in game five in Toronto. I am going to be at that game. I'm very fortunate. It's going to be my very first playoff game uh, that I've ever been to for Toronto. So I cannot wait. What I'm asking is that we don't take any negative energy into this game. This Leafs team, I've seen it more this year than ever. People, especially starting off in the playoffs, having their backs and actually supporting them. This fan base can be ruthless and always, you know, be shooting, having a target on this Leafs team and not wanting to celebrate them and not wanting to encourage them. We've seen in the regular season at Scotiabank Arena, it's a quiet place. Every time they lose, they get a lot, a lot of hate from the fan base. But game one, game two, game three, the amount of support that we've shown this team, I've loved it. And you can feel it through the TV. One and two, games one and two in Toronto, that seemed like the loudest Scotiabank Arena has ever been for a Leafs game. Now we're coming off of a 7-3 loss and the, the fan base seems to have shifted and is turning their backs once again on the Leafs. I am asking, we go into game five with full support of this team. It's a tied series. We aren't losing the series, but the fan base is acting like we have. The fan base is acting like this Leafs team has blown it. They have not blown it. We need to be supportive. We need to show up. We need to be loud. We need to be energetic. We need to help this team get through the first round. And the best way to do it is to not assume that they've lost the round yet, to give them every opportunity to prove to us that they're a different team, that they're different players, and that they are ready for this challenge. I think they are. Like I said, they only need to win two of the next three games. If you were to tell me we go into Tampa Bay and get a split, I think anybody is happy with that. We got it done no matter what last night's score was. So what is the effort going to be next game? If there's one thing Leafs fans, all they ask for from the Leafs is energy and effort. So I need to see that next game. Even if we lose next game on home ice, I still believe that they can win the last two games and win this series, but we need to see effort, right? The 7-3 loss, not enough effort shown, not enough care at the beginning of the game. Come out, play a full 60 minutes, play your hearts out. I believe that in the first four games of the series, maybe not yesterday, but the first three games of the series, the Leafs have, you know, been the better team. And... Some of it has been them being in the penalty box and giving up power plays and losing the momentum and obviously not having success there. But at five on five and for the majority of the series, I think the Leafs have been the better team. Statistically, if the Leafs keep that up, continue to be the better team, two more games at home ice, they should be the favorites to win here. And I think they can be. What are your thoughts? Let me know. Do you think the Leafs will pull this one out? Are you freaking out? Are you turning on the team? What do you think the outcome will be? I look forward to reading your comments and I'll see you in the next video.